Hey YouTube, PPC's Matt here, and today while I'm in the mod shop, I want to tell you guys all about the little monitor mod that you've seen in some of my builds. If you ever watched my previous channel, Blaze Mods, you've seen me do it there and I've gone over it before. But today I just kind of like to do a little more in-depth tutorial on it. I have a time lapse of how I work with the acrylic and everything, and how I mount the monitor, which is really kind of the open-ended part of this build, or this mod. It's um, just really up to you on what works in your case. I often find that it works well in a PSU shroud. I can easily kind of mount it and get a shroud over it because it is just a bare screen that you get. It's just a little five inch LCD screen that just takes an HDMI and plugs right into the GPU. But beyond that, there's nothing else to it. So in my opinion, it's kind of ugly just sitting there. So I like to take some like usually three mil acrylic or five mil acrylic and kind of embed it in that and then just make a little cover to you know make the edges real clean. But it's really up to you with what materials you have and what tools you have. So it's a simple mod as far as you make it. Beyond that, what I use for the software is IDA64. It's a, the custom sensor panel utility within IDA64. And at the end of the video, you'll see me kind of cover how you get that set up. That's also kind of really up to you. There's just endless options, which is why I really kind of love this mod. It's just, it's just a screen and you can make it your own. So I hope you enjoy the video and I'll talk to you guys after.
Okay, so now that you've set up your sensor panel within your shroud and everything, you probably want to know how to set up the software side of things. So what I use is IDA64. Um, if you don't have it already, you just want to search on Google and then go to their downloads page and download any of the versions that you want. I always use Extreme. That seems to work best for me. It's a 30-day free trial, so it's pretty nice to try out at least. Once you have it downloaded, though, you want to obviously open it up and you can go to preferences once you get in preferences on the left sidebar you want to go down to sensor panel and you're going to want to tick these boxes uh, obviously show sensor panel so there's mine it's already set up obviously but beyond that make sure you have the resolution set up properly these screens that i use and will have linked below are 800 by 480 so make sure you have that set up otherwise orienting everything within the, the sensor panel is going to be a little off if you don't have the resolution size correct so once you're done with that, you can click on the sensor panel that pops up. Yours won't look like this, but it'll just be a default one, and then you can go on from there and edit it. So you want to click on Sensor Panel Manager after you right-click on the background. Within here, this is where all of your sensor items are. As you see here, I have a pretty good list, but these are all the items that are being displayed on my sensor panel. So there's just all types of items. Obviously, we have like a graph here. This is just called a sensor item. This is a gauge, clearly. But then there's also like a clock, um, and you can just kind of go on and on with the ways that you display whatever stats you want. So when you do that, all you do is you click on modify, or you would obviously create a new sensor item. But once you do that, then you get this list of all the different sensors within your system. So this covers pretty much anything that you'd ever want to display. Clearly, it's a long list of items. But the ones that I have are the ones that I feel are important. Just core temps, GPU temp, uh, clocks, and usages is pretty much all I ever really care about. So once you get the ones that you have in mind that you want to display, you can go on and customize them even further. For the graph here, you can you know obviously change the background, the grid, and the thickness, and it just goes on and on. But you'll just have to figure out what looks best for your sensor panel and you know customize your theme the way you want it. There's even more settings within some of the other ones, like a simple sensor item. You can change the values and the units, um, the size of the bar, the colors that it displays. For the gauges, I know you can go in and you can custom change the colors of each of the little um, bars on it. That takes some Photoshop, but there's uh, guides on that on YouTube as well. So really, you just kind of have to explore everything yourself. This is a little hard to teach you exactly how to set up the sensor panel you want, because it is really up to you. You can move all of your items around using the coordinates over here. Um, it kind of just makes it easy to get everything lined up and even once you get them all out there, it can get a little cluttered. But I just recommend that you guys kind of have a play around with it. If you need to, just leave a comment below if you have a question about how to have something set up or you know displaying something. I'll do my best to answer everyone's questions. But really, if you guys just keep working with it, I can promise you, you'll get better and you'll eventually get to the sensor panel that you want to display it's not too bad so that's all i have for you on how to set up the software side of this uh, little mod all right so i know that's kind of a lot to take in it is just a lot of different things you can do with the mod so it really is just a lot of trial and experimenting that's what i've always done with it and it usually seems to work out well, as you guys saw, as far as materials go, I just use mainly 3 mil and 5 mil acrylic, and then I would always just kind of paint it and use some kind of glue or else some bolts just to, you know, hold it all together. But acrylic always has just seemed to be the easiest way for me to do the mod. As the title says, though, this was the part two of my build log. So up next, you guys are going to see me do the two bending and all that, putting together a loop within my build and just kind of finishing everything up. It's still kind of a work in progress. I got a couple kinks to work out, but hopefully we'll get that video done soon and have that up for you guys to watch. But if you like this video, please leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike and let me know why. And if you want to see more, just hit that subscribe button. And on behalf of PPCs, I'd like to thank everybody for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.